everyone, here is how you remove the shortcut notification in your iPhone running iOS 16. This even works on the latest iPhone 14, but it will not work on the 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max. So if you have those iPhones, chuck them in the bin. Do keep in mind, you must watch the full video before giving this a shot, mainly because this does take some setting up. It's a lot easier than my last tutorial, which was like a mini documentary. However, this does take a bit of time. Watch the full thing and give it a shot. If there's someone in the comments who says it doesn't work on my iPhone, well, I have the new iPhone 14 here. So cry more, you didn't watch the video. Watch again, you've missed a step. All right, let's get into it. So the first step is we're gonna open up the Shortcuts app. From here, you want to tap on Shortcuts until you're brought to the homepage right here. Now, we're going to tap on the Create button and we just want to create a new folder so we can organize our apps. So I'm gonna call this apps2, mainly because I have a regular apps folder, and then I'll tap on add. So from here, tap on the folder you created, and now we're gonna tap on the plus. So unlike the last method where you needed two shortcuts for one app, we create two shortcuts for one app, and then all other apps will only need one shortcut, okay? So the first shortcut we're gonna make is we're gonna tap on the add action button here. We're gonna search for show, show notification, tap on this, and then tap on done. Now we're gonna tap on the plus. We're gonna tap on add action. We're gonna search for run shortcut, select this, then you're going to tap on the shortcut here and you just want to run the show notification shortcut, okay? Now we're going to tap on the search and we're going to search for open app. We're going to tap on this one and we're going to select the, uh, the app we want a custom app icon for. In my case, I will choose the app store. Some people said this app doesn't work, that app doesn't work. No, all apps work, I have tested. Once we've done this, we now just tap on the share button here. We're then gonna find add to home screen. And now we're just going to use the custom app icon. But there are more steps to this, so don't get too excited. We're not done just yet. So in my case, I want the custom app store. I'm gonna tap on this icon here. I'm going to select choose photo. And I'm going to select the app store icon and then choose. Now I'm gonna tap on add. So now we have this custom app store icon on our home screen, but we need to set it up. Once we do the setup once with this app icon, you do not need to repeat this setup for the other app icons, okay? So the first step is we need to open up the app in question and then tap on allow. That will be required for every app, okay? But now we need to remove the notification. This is required to be set up on the one app and then it works on all the other apps. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna spam open the app in question, okay? So in my case, the app store, literally just spam open it five to 10 times. We just want a notification to be spammed. Once we've done this, we're now gonna open up the settings app. From here, we're gonna tap on screen time. And if you don't see a view like this, what that means is you did not enable screen time, okay? So turn on screen time and then try the last step again. Now we're gonna tap on see all activity. I had this view glitch in the past. If this view glitches, you may have an option which says, you know, share with other devices. Just turn that option off. Then we'll go back into here. Make sure you select day and then you're gonna scroll all the way down until you see notifications. So, one or two things are gonna happen. First of all, I don't have an option to tap into shortcuts here, okay? So I can't proceed with the next step. That's the option one. Option two, you're not even gonna see shortcuts show up. So, in order to fix this, you're gonna see the 60M, 30M, you slide back once, then slide back again, and let's see if we could change the notifications. We still can't. Oh, well now, well now we can. But for most people, that wouldn't have fixed the issue. So what you need to do is if you don't have the option to change the shortcut settings, you need to repeat 
the step of spamming opening the app. Okay, so just spam open this guy about five more times. And then we go back into settings. We go back into the shortcut settings. So you can try until you see this icon. And once you tap into this, you're gonna see allow notifications, tap on this one to turn it off. Very important, this option will turn itself back on every time you restart your iPhone. So I recommend that you don't, you know, kill your iPhone by using it too much. So now let's open up the app and there we go, no notification. First amount of times you may open up the app, you may see a little shortcut notification, but eventually it's gonna be gone for good. Some people have been saying it doesn't work for the app in question. The reason why is because your regular app is on the same page as the application with a custom app icon. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later, bye bye.